in Debele, how you talk about something that happened yesterday is not the same as how you talk about something that happened last week or last month or you know last year so uh, we divide the past tense into the near past in the far away past let me teach you in this class how to do that all right so as a beginner i want to simplify it for you all right we're going to be using some verbs to describe something that's happening uh, that happened earlier today or yesterday versus something happening back then in the far away past all right so um just like other languages in debele we have many tenses even within the past tense i'll give you an example in english you can say this that i wrote a book uh last year okay or you can say something like this i was writing a book uh, in march last year so that's all in the past but what's different is at one point you're saying i wrote in another i was writing so in debele it's the same right but for it to be simpler i want to stick to one tense we're going to be talking you're going to be describing something that you are in the process of doing okay we'll do it in the in the present and then compare it with um yesterday the near past and also compare it later on uh, as i as we progress with the lesson we'll then compare it with last week last month the far away past all right so that's not to say you can't say other things yes in debate but i just want you to capture this difference if you capture this difference as a beginner you are going to understand other tenses other ways other more colorful ways of saying all of this all right so let's start with the verb ubupega, which means to cook all right we're going to talk about it in the in the present you're going to say i am cooking then say yesterday i was cooking right and let's dis let's discuss more verbs for now before we will hop on to last month last week all right let's do that in the present tense we normally use katesi which means right now and namusha today so uh, you want to talk about cooking you want to say i am cooking I am cooking right now. I am cooking today. Right. Hold on to that so that we introduce the near past. So if you wanted to say I was cooking in the morning, let's start from there. You're going to say All right. I was cooking in the afternoon. And like I was saying, earlier today and also yesterday, we use the same near past. All right. So what is the word for yesterday in Debele? Izolo. So when you want to then say, I was cooking yesterday. Okay. Near pega. Uh, present. pega Near past. All right. Remember, I'm teaching you to say, I am doing something i was doing something i'm cooking i was cooking okay you are not saying i cooked that's a different tense for another day for another lesson for now let's just say let's just say I, i'm doing this i was doing this okay i was in the process of doing this let's take another verb um let's talk about taking a bath how do you say i'm taking a bath right now Niageza. Kates, i'm taking a bath today now uh, in the near past you are going to say vengeza okay ekuseni vengeza izolo vengeza that's yesterday all right it is simple like that you are just saying nia in the present vengi vengi i was doing this okay uh, how about to water the garden Niatelela. Kates. Alright? I'm watering the garden right now. How about yesterday? Vengi telela izolo. How about earlier this afternoon? Vengi telela emini. In the morning? Vengi telela eguseni. I hope it makes sense. Alright. So, 
remember you're not just going to always be talking about yourself right you want to know how to use the past tense to describe something that was done by someone or a group of people all right so let's go back to the six persons once you know the six persons your past tense also is going to be perfect okay so i spoke about the six persons in a previous video you can watch it um you can look for the video and actually follow the link up here to look for the video that talks about the six persons how to say i'm doing this uh, you are doing this he and then also in the plural we uh, you guys and they all right so but now i want you to be able to use it in the past tense as well so let's go on to the next verb which is to work ugu sevenza right how do you say i am working right now nia sevenza kates someone asks you when zan what are you doing nia sevenza i am working all right uh now let's talk about uh, the verb to work for you for the six persons that i was just talking about okay so me na nia sevenza I am working. Wena uya sebenza. You are working. Yena uya sebenza. He or she is working. And then in the plural, we say tina, we. Tina siya sebenza. Lina liya sebenza. Bona baya sebenza. Okay. How about in the near past? You want to say, um, you were working, she was working. Let's get you to say that. So we've already said mina in your sevenza in the present. So past tense mina vengi sevenza. All right. Eguseni in the morning or yesterday is ono vengi sevenza. Wena ubu sevenza. You were working, okay? Yena ube sevenza. She was working or he was working, right? In the plural, this is what you're going to say. Tina We were working. If you want to put up the full sentence, we were working in the morning. Tina sevenza All right? And then you guys, Lina sevenza They sevenza So that's how you say this. Let me know if it's making sense. Okay. Moving on to uh, the verb to sew. In Debele, we say ugu tunga. Okay. Right now, mina nia tunga. Okay. Ebuseni, vengi tunga. It's the same pattern. Nia katesi, vengi. Ebuseni, gumbe izolo. Angit, gumbe emini, ndambama. You also can use ndambama, which means in the evening. You can also use ebusugu, uh, which means at night. Because obviously, if you're saying, I did this at night, you're probably talking about last night. So it falls under the near past, right? Near past is yesterday, all the way coming to um, today, earlier today, five minutes ago. That's the past tense we're still talking about. All right. So, ugutunga, let's do it. Let's do it for the six persons. Mina I am sewing. Wena uyatunga. You are sewing. Yena uya tunga. He or she is sewing. How about in the plural? Tina siya tunga. Lina liya tunga. Vonabaya tunga. Now let's do all the six persons for the past tense. For yesterday. Let's just talk about yesterday for this one. Right. You are going to say, um, Mina vengi tunga. Izolo. Wena ubu tunga. Izolo. Yena ube tunga izolo. He or she was uh, sewing yesterday. The plural? Tina besitunga izolo. Lina belitunga izolo. And vona bebe tunga izolo. Does this make sense? I hope it's, it makes sense because I'm about to introduce the far away past. Now let's get into the far away past. We're going to use the verb ugela, which means to cut, particularly the hair and other things, right? So ugela, right now we are going to say niagela katesi. If you are talking about cutting your hair, 
once you say nyakela, we know you are talking about what? The hair. Okay, so you can say nyakela inwele, or you can simply say nyakela. We will know you are talking about the hair. All right. So nyakela kates. How about I'm cutting my hair today? Nyakela namusha. Right. Now, let's take it to the near past before taking it to the far away past. Eguseni? You now get the hang of it, right? How about izolo? Yesterday, izolo benigela, same thing. Now, you want to say last week, I was cutting my hair, last month. All right, here's what you will say. Ngani gela. Ngani is what you use for far away past. When you're talking about something you're in the process of doing. Okay, katesi gela. Izolo benigela. Nge vigi elipeli leo. Nga Let me teach you some of the phrases we use for the far away past. The first one I just gave you already. Nge vigi elipeli leo. Last week. I vigi is a week. Okay. Nge vigi elipeli leo. The one that passed. Alright. Then we move on to last month. You're going to say ngenyanga epelileyo. You say what? Mm -hmm. And what about last year? Ngomnyaga opelileyo is how you say last year. So in all of these, guys, even if you want to use the month, the name of the month of the year, right? To say in uh, August, I was cutting my hair. Ngomnyabagazi ngangi gela. It's ngangi. Okay, if you want to use a day of the week, let's say today is Friday, and you want to say on Monday, I was cutting my hair. Remember, we are just concentrating on I'm doing this, I was doing this. You're not saying I did this. Okay, so uh, I'm cutting my hair. On Monday, I was cutting my hair. Okay, last week, we already said, Last month I was cutting my hair. Nyenyanga epelileyo ngangigela. I was in the process of cutting my hair. It's the longer tense, but it it makes it easier for you to learn it first and then begin to learn the other ones. All right. Uh what's the other one you could say? Uh, last year I was in the process. This is something you can use when someone is asking you where were you on this particular day? Maybe why didn't you take my call on this day? Why didn't I see you uh, on 13 March? Okay, why didn't you attend this on this particular day? That's where you use this tense. That's where you use I was doing this. I was in the process of doing this. Good. Good if it makes sense. Good if it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> The next verb, I don't know how to say it in English. I'm going to demonstrate it. Doing this with your eyes is called ugu twaiza. We say what? Ugu twaiza. All right. That, you know, closing and opening of the eyes. Uh, remind me of the English verb, please. If you know it, I have forgotten. But ngesindebele, ugu twaiza. Ugu twaiza. Right. Katesi niya twaiza. All right. How about uh, earlier today? How about if you wanted to say in the evening I was? Ntamba ama veni twaiza. Are you managing to say twa? Twa. Okay. Ntamba ama veni twaiza. What about yesterday? Izolo veni twaiza. All right. Now, that's the near past. How about last week I was? Twaizing. <laughs> All right. Someone could ask you like, um, what was wrong with your eyes? And then you have to say, no, nothing. All right. Or they could accuse you of sleeping. Hey. They saw you in that moment of, and then you say, Arch, right. How about last year? 
ngomnyaka ophelileyo nganye cwayiza you know i was doing this i was um blinking is the word i was blinking blinking ukucwayiza right then um what about to learn what's the verb for to learn in the bell ukufunda let's do the um, let's do the the, the present in the two pasts okay Katesing ya funda, I'm learning. Izologe, izolobe ni funda. E, nge vige li pelileo, nge vige li pelileo, nga ni funda. I was learning. I was in the process of learning. Right. To see whether you're getting this properly, let's do the six persons for the verb ugu funda. E, in the present, we're going to rush through this. I think you now know. Mina ni ya funda. Kates, we're talking about kates. Wena uyafunda, yena uyafunda. How about the plurals? Tina siyafunda, lina liyafunda, vona vayafunda. Angicho. Now let's take it to the near past. Okay? Let's do izolo. Yesterday I was learning, you were learning, they were learning. Let's do that. Izolo venyifunda. Izolo wena ubufunda. Izolo yena. Ube funda. Angit. How about uh, Tina? Tina besi funda izolo. Lina beli funda izolo. Bona bebe funda izolo. Does it make sense? Alright. Now let's do the far away past. Let's do last year we were learning. They were learning. She was learning. He was learning. Alright. Ngomnyaga opelileyo. Mina ngani funda. It's ngani. Angit. Mwamnyaga opeli leyo. Wena wawu funda. Mwamnyaga opeli leyo. Yena waye funda. Alright. And then. Tina. Sasi funda. Mwamnyaga opeli leyo. Lina lali funda. Mwamnyaga opeli leyo. Vona vave funda. Mwamnyaga opeli leyo. Alright. One more verb so that you really get to practice and get this Ndebele past tense, right? Um, let's say I'm standing up. Remember, we're talking about in the process of I'm standing up. I was standing up. All right. How do you say I'm standing up? Kates niya suguma. Kates wena uya suguma. Kates yena. Uya suguma. Alright? Tina? Tina siya suguma. Katesi tina siya suguma. Katesi lina liya suguma. Katesi wona vaya suguma. Now, past tense. The near past first of all. Eh, what if you wanted to say in the afternoon I was standing up. Okay? Eh, she was standing up. He was standing up. Let's go. Emini mina vengi suguma. You know we're talking about emini, right? Let's leave it out in the sentence. Wena ubu suguma. Yena ube suguma. Eh, how about tina? We. Emini tina vesi suguma. Lina veli suguma. Vona veve suguma. Angit. Ikopel. Right. And let's take it to the far away past. To say you were standing up, she was standing up, they were standing up. Okay, they were talking about last month. How do you say last month? Nyenyanga epelileyo. Okay, nyenyanga epelileyo, minangani suguma. I was in the process of standing up. Nyenyanga epelileyo, wena wawu suguma. Nyenyanga epelileyo, yena waye suguma. Okay, what about uh, the plural? Again, we're still on ngenyanga epeli leyo. Tina sase suguma. Lina lali suguma. Vona babe suguma. Angi chopel. This is the ndebele past tense for a beginner. And I hope you, you really got something. So, I will emphasize this. Uh, to really, really get to speak in ndebele, you need to start doing it immediately. Right? Because you could 
uh, get excited that you're catching something, you're understanding why we say this, how we say this, but as long as you don't use it, as long as you don't practice with all of this, you will forget, you will soon forget, you will be like, I knew this, I actually learned it, I followed this video, or I did this lesson and I actually knew this, but now I've forgotten. But it's when you uh, begin to use with your people, look for someone in your circle, a friend, a Ndebele speaking friend, uh, a Ndebele relative, somebody who knows the language, practice with them. Say, ask them, can you talk to me for just uh, five minutes? Let's talk in Ndebele and use all these things that you're learning. That's the only way it sticks. When you use it, it sticks. I need. So I'll see you in the next class.